yeah, lately the news that Lewis Hamilton will uh, switch to Ferrari uh, has overshadowed everything, but it feels like the debate about yet another street circuit joining the Formula One calendar has not even reached its boiling point already, and yet the track in question is already drivable in sim racing. Assetto Corsa track model Nuke Drop, Tyreen Hasbrook has created a basic version of the Madrid F1 circuit that will host the Spanish Grand Prix from 2026 onwards. Welcome back to Overtake. Many fans are not fond of the idea that Madrid is going to replace Barcelona Catalonia, although the future of the venue in F1 is not clear yet. Still, having a drivable version already available for Assetto Corsa over two years before the Madrid F1 circuit is scheduled to materialize is commendable. Released merely a day after the announcement, Nuke Drop used the published layout and actual maps of Madrid as a base. Is this super accurate to how the real track will be? No, it's just to give an idea of the flow of the circuit, he states in the mod description. Those expecting eye candy will be disappointed as a result, but it is interesting to see how the track might turn out at this point in time already. Much like many of F1's recent street circuits, Madrid is rather fast, which is aided by the fact that it is technically a hybrid circuit. While most of the track is laid out on public roads, there are purpose-built sections planned. Mostly situated in what will be the second sector, the section features a long right-hander called Valdebebas. In the Assetto Corsa version, this is slightly banked. Should this carry over to the real track, it could be one of the fastest turns on the F1 calendar. Meanwhile, Spanish news reported that this banking is indeed planning to be 30 degrees, which is massive. And it would be even more massive if you enjoy our content and then decide to like the video, subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell. Thank you. The Madrid F1 circuit has some flow, but surprisingly little overtaking opportunities. At least not many spots look like it. Turn 11 following Valdebebas could be one, turn 17 might be another. But from our first few laps it feels like Madrid is going to be rather difficult to pass at. What is not immediately apparent from simply looking at the layout is that the circuit features interesting elevation change. This caught us a few times when trying to learn the track, especially at the turn 789 complex. This follows a long fast section that passes under the nearby motorway. A crest in the middle of the sequence can send you into the outside barriers rather quickly if you are not careful. Other sequences like turns 1 and 2 have a relatively good amount of space to account for mistakes. The track is marked by curbs at this point, also making it a spot that is likely going to spark track limits discussions. Despite all the flag the new layout has been getting, our first impressions of the circuit is actually quite fun, at least in sim racing. Whether or not it will deliver exciting racing remains to be seen, but it may well be one of these tracks that is spectacular for last minute quality runs. And the thought of side by side action at Valdebeba is quite intriguing as well, if cars can actually run the corner alongside each other. As more info on the track becomes available, the Madrid F1 circuit for Assetto Corsa is likely going to be updated accordingly. Nuke Drop has done so before with the Las Vegas Grand Prix circuit. Originally released on April 1st, 2022, the track has been updated last in November of 2023, on the very date of the actual Grand Prix. Madrid F1 circuit will not be the first time the Formula 1 circus will make station at the Spanish capital, or rather close to it. Between 1968 and 1981, the nearby Circuito del Jarama hosted the Spanish Grand Prix nine times, alternating with Montjuic in Barcelona. In fact, Jarama is a mere 20 minute drive away from the new venue. With the move to the new Madrid F1 circuit, Catalonia's history as host of the Spanish Grand Prix will end after 35 races. It may not be a goodbye forever for Catalonia, we will find out whether or not the Madrid track will actually be around for all 10 years of its brand new contract. What are your thoughts on the new Madrid F1 circuit? Let us know in the comments and thank you for watching until the end. If you want to learn about the latest ACC DLC, this video could be the right one for you. See you next time.